In this video, I'm specifically going to talk about why you're not growing on Instagram anymore. And then we'll talk about how you should properly use Instagram in 2020. And then because you're not growing on Instagram, we'll talk some more about other apps where you can find that reach and grow your audience. So this video is great if you are a musician or an entrepreneur, I'm a musician myself, I have an Instagram channel, and I've noticed in the last two years, the growth has just really been stagnant compared to other social apps out there. So we're gonna dig into that and answer the why of that, but also more importantly, how you should use Instagram and then some other apps that can give you that social growth. There are two big reasons why your Instagram growth has been stagnant or really slow over the last year or two. And the first reason is there are other social apps that are just getting your attention over Instagram and most people's attention. TikTok is a great example for that. If you physically look at the real estate on your phone, there's only so much space for different apps that you have on your phone. And so as more popular apps come out, you just, you put them on your phone and you spend less time on the other apps. It's just a question of time prioritization. It's a small reason, but it still has quite a significant impact at scale because if more people are using TikTok, that means they're spending less time on Instagram, which means there's going to be less reach on Instagram because there are less people spending time on Instagram. The second biggest reason why you're not getting enough growth on Instagram is because of the nature of Instagram. It is not an app that will give you reach. Instagram is primarily a app that lets you connect with your current followers through posts, Instagram Live, and stories. And those are three great ways to keep connected with a current fan base. A caveat throughout this whole video is, I'm not saying Instagram is bad, I saying you, you, it is still 100% necessary that you use Instagram if you're trying to grow a fan base, but the tool you should be using Instagram for, which we'll get into a bit later, is just to keep connected and use it as a conversation piece with your current audience. Because Instagram is not going to give you that growth that you need and that you can find on some other social channels. Okay, so the reach on Instagram is limited, and why? Because I said it's the nature of the app, right? And so what does that mean? Well, it means actually the design of the app. If you open up Instagram and you go to the home page, this is where everyone wants to go, right? It's the home page. This is where you see your current followers and who you are following. So right there, you're not seeing new people. It's only the people that you follow. If you want to get outside of your umbrella and to grow reach, you have to go to the search page and you have to be scrolling through photos that are randomly chosen for you based off of the things you liked with your current followers or the, the, the hashtags that you've searched before. Nothing else, really. So it's already segmented to what your interests are and you can't reach outside of those interest barriers. If you only been liking food pictures but you're actually really into biking, then that page is not gonna show you any biking pictures. Let's look on the other side of this. If we take TikTok as an example, TikTok's primary nature of the app and the design of the app in regards to their homepage is already people that you haven't seen before. You do have an option on TikTok to look at your feed of people that you're following, but most people spend their time on this For You page on TikTok where you just see other videos around the world that have gained in popularity and are still based on what you've liked and what you've searched for, but in my experience have a much more broad selection of videos for you to build your reach. So let's bring this back to if you're a musician or if you're an entrepreneur and you post something on Instagram, your potential for reach is limited because people aren't searching for your photo and you likely will never end up on this search page anyways, so you already need to be big to get on that page. Like the big channels just keep getting bigger because they're the, the accounts that end up on that page. You might be asking yourself like, okay, what about hashtags? What about um, following other people and getting them to come back to your profile and then they see you and like you? And sure, there's the follow for follow, the going on other people's accounts and hearting them, looking at hashtags. Those are still ways to grow, but not at scale. You, you might. You could do this strategy, you know, week to week and spend some time on it, but you're never gonna get thousands and thousands of followers 
in a short amount of time as you would on some other platforms that have bigger reach. When it comes to your time and your prioritization, I would not use Instagram as a tool for reach, but more as a tool to keep connected with your current fan base. So you wanna be growing your reach on other social platforms that we'll get into in a second, and then bringing them back into the funnel of Instagram and using Instagram as that conversation piece putting stories of what you do every day, going on Instagram live, posting what you're doing every day because they're going to their home feed and they wanna see who they follow and what they're up to. That's what Instagram is for. That's the nature of the app is to keep connected with people that you already follow and not really reach outside of that umbrella. Instagram is also not a search engine predominantly, like YouTube is a search engine. You go to YouTube with a question most of the time, you put the question in the search bar, whatever it is, maybe it's a how-to, maybe it's something you wanna learn, and you get a video. Or the algorithm knows you so well, you can just go to the home page and be scrolling through the home videos because they've recommended videos that are good for you. But predominantly, YouTube is a search engine, right? Which is why, educational and how-to videos are so popular on YouTube and why you don't see educational and how-to videos on Instagram because no one's searching for anything on Instagram, which is, again, because of the nature of the app, because no one is searching for things, that means they're not going to find anything. And so how are people gonna find you on Instagram if they're not searching for anything? So that's why YouTube is such a great platform for reach because you can find out what people are searching for, make content for that, and then you'll show up for that. TikTok is also not a search engine, but it has the reach because of the nature of the app on the homepage is to find people that you aren't following and to find videos that you've never seen before. So as a creator, let's bring this back again to myself as a singer songwriter or to you, maybe as a musician or entrepreneur, as a creator, you can go and make a video on TikTok and then immediately grow your reach and get that video in front of people that have never heard of you before. Posting the same video on Instagram is only directly gonna go to your followers unless it happens to get picked up to be on that search page or people randomly search the hashtag that you are that you posted in that video. It's a really big difference in the mechanics of the app on TikTok, YouTube, and Instagram. And that goes for every social app. Every social app has its own kind of mechanics and nature that is built differently, has different reach, and the way you should use these different apps are different across all these channels. So for that second part of the video, how you should use Instagram is just using it to keep connected with your fans and people that follow you. What are some other social apps that are good for reach? And two examples that I wanna talk about in this video are YouTube and TikTok, because they both have large reach audiences. YouTube, because it is a search engine. So like I said, you make the content of what people are searching for and you will show up for that content over time. It obviously depends on how many, the volume of the search and the competition of that search keyword. But at its core, YouTube is a search platform, therefore has lots of reach exactly like Google is. TikTok is another great platform to get reach. So I recommend if you're trying to build an audience and you wanna get people to hear your music or learn about your business, then focus on TikTok and focus on YouTube and then bring that audience that you build on those channels into an Instagram channel or into an email channel. That's kind of more bottom of the funnel, but you need something at the top of the marketing funnel that's going to bring people into the funnel. Instagram is now too low down the funnel that they're not, you're not getting in front of people that don't know about you. You still need to find more top of the funnel and that comes to search and TikTok just happens to be great reach as well. Do you think I'm crazy or do you think I'm wrong? And have you gotten great reach with Instagram before? I'd like you to prove me wrong. So if you've had great experience with that, please let me know in a comment. I do a lot of these videos around marketing, more specifically music marketing. So if those videos are things you wanna know more about, feel free to subscribe to this channel and hope to see you in the next video.